1967, 30,000 people gathered for the first human being in San Francisco's Golden Gate Park. Back then, they were celebrating social and political revolution. Well, the being still lives on. This time, the party's moved indoors, and they're celebrating the technological revolution. On January 14, 1967, counterculture luminaries like Allen Ginsberg and Timothy Leary preached messages of peace, love, and harmony to tens of thousands in San Francisco's Golden Gate Park at the first human being. Turn on, tune in, drop out. Little did they realize that the spirit of the being would live on with a technological twist. Welcome to the digital being. What started nine years ago as a private party for the self-proclaimed cyber hip attending San Francisco's Macworld trade show has become an annual public event where 90s cyber culture meets 60s counterculture. It is the kind of party where blue goddesses from the summer of love mingle with high-tech entrepreneurs demoing the future in their information booths. Let's see it. Everybody, chop up. All right. This is not just a time for a be-in. It's a time for a change-in and a revolution-in. Speeches calling for political and social change revive themes straight from the 60s and put them in a purely 90s setting embodied in the evening's theme, cultural diversity in cyberspace. San Francisco Mayor Willie Brown was one of the featured speakers. If you really involve yourself in the internet and you go online, you can pick up uh, clearly cultural differences. Let me take you into the world of African Americans. Uh, you clearly see the same language that's spoken in the ghetto is sometimes reflective uh, on the persons you're communicating with and talking to by way of the net. You're here, you know, Mac Daddy, Daddy Mac, and all that kind of stuff. You know that's a brother. You absolutely know that's a brother. And when they run the line, you know exactly where they're coming from in that regard. The same thing is pretty much reflective of other cultures. The digital being also put a high-tech spin on spirituality. Using avatar technology, a group of singers led the crowd in a chant heard round the world on the internet. This is my moon goddess. This is Tara, who is the mother goddess, the female aspect of Buddha. And 360-degree panoramic views of a virtual altar room were posted for surfers visiting the Bean's companion website. So I understand that uh, the 24 Hours of Cyberspace project... In a postmodern twist, the Bean covered itself with a team of cyber reporters. Interviews with attendees like 24 Hours in Cyberspace creator Rick Smolin were videotaped, then simulcast on the Internet. The roving reporters filed stories on laptops downstairs, while up on the bridge, their text and images were posted onto the website. Not always successful. What was successful was the blending of the past and the present. Chet Helms and Alan Cohen, two of the organizers of the Human Being, spoke in honor of its 30th anniversary. Excuse me, I'm going to adjust this mic. That's a little better. But can a being attended by individuals on the internet using expensive machines call itself the successor of a being that promoted ideals like togetherness and anti-materialism? Sure, says Cohen, because the outcome of both is the same. What I see is at some point, if there was a site at which people were organized, say, around the idea of uh, uh, helping children uh, in poverty, and uh, uh, many of them came to one site, and somebody said, well, who's in Peoria? And all the people who were there said, oh, I'm in Peoria. And they said, well, let's have a meeting together. Let's see what we can do in Peoria, you know, so they can lead right into social action. Will cyberspace finally become the global village first envisioned by Cohen and others 30 years ago? While the jury decides, the digital being carries on the pursuit of the happy, haphazard, and strange gathering of the tribes.
Wish you'd been there? Well, you can still get a taste of the Be In Online, where the event's roving reporters have posted their photos and essays and video highlights of interviews. To find the Be In's web address, just go to our website at thesite.com and click on The Site Tonight. We'll be right back.